Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Well, once again, I'm at the beautiful community of Esperanza in the Texas Hill Country town of Bernie, Texas. And behind me is a house being built by Chessmar Homes. It is a Brandon plan that's being built for one of my clients. So, of course, I'm going to do a new construction follow-up for it so my client can see what the house looks like as of 19 June, 2023. Let's go check it out. I really do love this community as far as the amenities, the dog park, the lazy river, uh, elementary school, all that stuff is right down the road this direction, but some beautiful views here in Bernie. Yes, we do have some construction going on uh, down the road from us, but there are some great builders here. Chessmar and Perry are probably one of my top two favorite builders in this community, and Highland's a nice builder as well. But man, it is gorgeous out here. Although as of uh, right now, it's pretty damn hot. Uh, we have a heat wave coming through. So uh, I'm gonna try not to stand out in the sun too much, but uh, just wanna show off this house. All right, let's head on inside. You see, they do have the uh, zip system set up. That's one of the uh, big things Chessmar does. It makes this plate, this house very watertight. I mean, this is not regular duct tape, this is very thick and this barrier protects it from uh, water getting in behind the walls because of course water is the enemy of all homes and uh, it also makes the house a lot more sturdier than the normal system looks like they're getting stucco going to be put up on this side here all right let's head on inside chestmar does build a wonderful home uh oh crap i always get this wrong bromine treatment i believe or no benzene i think it's benzene treatment there on the post there it acts as a bug repellent so just helps keep the future bugs from getting into the house and you don't want termites or something destroying your house all right right now we're up at framing stage and this is kind of typically where i like to do my first video at this is going to be a two-car garage see they've already got any part that's going to be going to the inside of the house is going to be really insulated See, they've already got this insulated and sealed up because yeah you're gonna have a really nice utility room right inside with a window and uh, some tall ceilings in this house I love that especially if you're doing a single story plan you are gonna have a bedroom or office whatever you want to use for this on the front part it does get categorized as a bedroom because it does have a closet that's going to be built in there. But yeah, they got the insulation all stuffed in there real good. And more to come. But this room's going to have access to its own bathroom. It's like it's going to have a shower set up. Show the water lines and stuff all very insulated. And what's kind of neat, I have to do measurements to see if you wanted to do like, if you could put this as your own private suite there if they did a little barn door set up. But you have to make the measurements to see if that barn door could slide there. All right, coming into the flex room. This can be used as a formal dining room or an office or media room, whatever you want it to be used for. Plenty of lighting, I think these windows just got put in. I saw the window guys pulling out as I was pulling up. So this house is coming along. Once again, tall ceilings in here. It's gonna look really open once all said and done. All right, looking through here, this looks like the secondary bedrooms or a secondary bedroom with an open to the public kind of bathroom. There's gonna be a full bath, shower, tub combo. That's where the toilet's gonna be and the sink. Once again, very insulated even on these interior walls. Well, that oh, I think that backs up to the garage area, so it's gonna be really insulated here. Yep, you can see a little gap opening there. That's for the garage. All right, there's another bedroom with a good sized closet. On the other side of it's going to be the master bedroom and the shower there. Wait, I take that back. That's going to be a whole different bedroom there. Disregard what I just said. Master bedroom can be a little further on. 
because this is going to be opening up into another bedroom right here. So it's going to have its own little stool there. That's why I thought it was a other room. But yeah, there's going to be a neat little bench stool there by this window and the closet. Once again, tall ceilings. The next room over is the master. All right, let's go check out the main living space. Loving this big A-frame that they have going on here. Look at all that insulation they've got packed in the rafters. She sheetrocks here, ready to go up. So I'm glad I'm filming this today before the sheetrock does go up. But this could be your big main living space. And this will be the kitchen. I think I have lots of countertops coming in here. We already see the outlets set up. The pantry going to be opening up here and going to go on either side. This is going to be the island and the sink. You can see the uh, plex tubes there coming in so uh, for all your water. This can be your view from behind the sink. Really nice. And then your uh, breakfast nook or dining room area. Plenty of space to use this as your main dining room area with lots of light. I love how many windows they have in here looking out over the Texas Hill Country. And it's going to be a really nice view out the back. They do have a nice wall up. Speaking of which, let's head out there and take a look. They've carried the A-frame out onto the back patio. So you can be sitting here, the sun sets. Sorry, I can't oh. do that. Okay, Siri, thank you. All right, so they are gonna have some trees in the back. It's gonna be really nice. And you can see the trees, they are working on the road that's going back here. It's not gonna be a whole lot of traffic on this road because we are kind of on the back part of the Esperanza community. So the only people who are taking this road are going to the houses on the very back edge. But that's what's going in now. Got a backyard. Uh, actually, it looks like about the same depth of a backyard as what I'm living in now. So you still have plenty of place, space if you want to put like a fire pit or something there. Because that's really what I did. I've got a hot tub and a fire pit in my backyard for entertaining. And you do have that space for it here. But a nice view of the Texas Hill Country, especially off that direction. All right, on to the master bedroom. All right, so he's gonna have some wide entryways coming in. Eight foot doors here. Good size master bedroom. We're gonna have the tray ceiling. You can see they got the little radiant barrier up in there. Lots of windows. and then opening up into the bathroom. Here we're gonna have a good sized closet, kind of long and skinny closet there. Linen closet, sink, another sink, a big uh, mud inset shower set up. See where they got the shower heads already set up there. And then the water closet gonna be across from the shower. Yeah, I'm super excited to see this house come to life. Uh, see where Chessmar has put all what the uh, little spray foam things inside here. They'd really try to make this a really air sealed tight house because when they do that, it keeps the utility oh. bills down. 
they do all that uh, pressure test to make sure your house is sealed up really nice. One last good look. View from the back. I just realized I forgot to mention the square footage on it. The Brandon plan is 2340 square feet. This is a four bedroom house. Um, it's kind of the, at this tier of Chessmar homes, this is the more budget friendly. I, it's still gonna be in the low to mid fives for getting a Brandon home built by Chessmar. And those prices also depend on which community you're building in. And those prices do change over time and incentives change as well. But if you're looking for information on this or interested in this community, feel free to reach out to me. If you don't have an agent already helping you, I definitely can help you. It doesn't cost you anything to use a real estate agent. So hopefully you find this video informational. If you do, please give me a call or text or click the link in the description box to schedule a Zoom meeting with me. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and as always, share these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now. Bye.